you so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm showing you guys what's in my carry-on bag. I know a lot of you guys are heading out for spring break over the next few weeks, so I wanted to show you guys what's in my carry-on. Hopefully you guys will get some pretty good ideas of things you'd like to take with you and yours as well. So if you'd like to see what's in here, please keep watching. So the bag I'm going to be using as a carry-on is this one right here. It's the Louis Vuitton Neverfull GM. So it's the largest of this bag. They have like three different sizes. And I absolutely love taking this as a carry-on. I've traveled with this quite a few times now. And it does fit right under the seat in front of me. I know it looks like totally huge. But what I really love about this bag, since it's just like a tote bag, like all the sides will fold down and everything. I don't have to like smush it at all. But it's just really handy to have a bag like this where it can kind of like switch the shape if it has to. So it's really simple like if you're sitting in your seat to have everything just in one pocket because it won't take you that long to find anything so that's why I really like to travel with this bag so I'm just gonna start with what's inside of it so the first thing I have in here is just a big sweater I like to bring like a really long sweater with me that has like pockets on the side and that way if I get too cold on the plane I can just like wear it as a blanket or I can wear it regularly obviously and I got this sweater from H&M and what I really love about this is it's super long and warm and cozy but I also can just like roll it up into a ball and that's the amount of space it takes up in my bag so it really works out perfectly for flying the next thing I like to bring with me is a book I really don't read that much and I try to read but I feel like I never have time so whenever I'm flying I like to bring a book with me this one is The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer I started this book I'm only 27 pages into it so I have some reading to do so hopefully when I'm on the plane I will read this guy then I like to bring a bag like this with me and I'm flying late in the afternoon so I know I'm going to have makeup on my face already so I like to bring these pond wipes with me to take off any makeup on my face because I think I'm flying overnight. It's like a 10 hour flight so it's long so I don't want to have makeup on my face for the whole flight so I'm going to take it off with these guys and then... Oh, I don't have any lotion in here, but I will be bringing face lotion with me because my skin, especially my face, gets so dry flying, like, so dry. So I like to bring this spray. It's like a water spray, and I seriously love this stuff. It's not that loud, and it's just, like, refreshes your skin, and it makes it feel really nice. So I always, always bring this with me when I fly because literally I feel like the water is just being sucked out of my skin. I get like a sore throat and everything when I fly. Even if I have a short flight, like an hour flight, I still get a sore throat because the air on airplanes just, oh, it's so dry. It's like the most uncomfortable thing in the whole world to me. So then I like to bring some hand sanitizer as well because we all know there's so many germs when you're flying. And then I just have a mirror in here. This is just from like Forever 21 and it has like a floral pattern on it. And then right before I get off, I do like to put on a little bit of makeup so that way when I get off the plane, I don't feel like I look like I've been sitting on a plane for 10 hours. So the first thing in here is a CC cream. This is the IT Cosmetics CC cream. I did a video on this a few videos back. I love this. It's perfect if you have to put a little bit of makeup on your face on a plane because you don't have to wear a primer. In fact, I don't even recommend a primer with this guy. And then I just have a foundation brush in here to put that CC cream on with. And I have a powder. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Powder in 2C1 Pure Beige. And I have a powder brush to put that on with. And then I just like to bring like one of these smaller compacts that has a blush and a bronzer in it. And then I like to use just smaller brushes for that. And then I have a mascara in here. This is by Tarte. It's the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. My favorite one. So I just bring a little bit of makeup with me so that way I look semi-normal when I get off the plane. Then I like to bring my iPad with me just because I like to read magazines or like surf Pinterest or something and I recommend getting some magazines on your iPad if you have one because it's like way less weight that you have to have in your bag so I love doing that. Then of course I have my wallet in here, my glasses because I know I'm not going to be wanting to wear contacts the whole time and if you guys wear contacts it will fit almost always like right inside the center of where your glasses like fold so I just have that in there so when I want to take them out and swap around I can do that. 
And then if you guys are bringing like an expensive handbag with you and you're just kind of worried about having it in your suitcase, you can always just put it in here and I just like to bring like a smaller bag with me so I just put it in here and then if you have like expensive sunglasses you're worried about or anything small that you don't think you're going to want to reach or whatever in this bag, put it inside of the other handbag, that's what I do. So all that stuff will be inside of the bag that I'm taking with me. So then I like to bring a water bottle with me, it has water in it right now but obviously when you're taking it through security, can't have any water in it and I just like to bring a water bottle because I drink a lot of water. If I had to pay for all that water I'd be spending like $10, $12 on water for one trip one way which is kind of ridiculous so I just like to bring an empty one and then I fill it up once I'm through security. And then I just have my headphones, obviously I'm going to need those. And then I have a chapstick in here because like I was saying I get super dry all over when I'm flying. Hair ties because I always put my hair up like when I'm sleeping and stuff so I like to put a couple of these in my bag. And then in the side pocket over here I like to keep sunglasses that I wear all the time and these ones I got from Topshop. I absolutely love these sunglasses. And then in here I also have my passport. It's also where I like to keep my boarding passes so that way that kind of stuff is just super handy. I know exactly where it is and it's pretty much like the only things I keep in that pocket so that way I always know where they are. So that's everything I'm taking with me in my carry-on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let me know in the comments where you guys are going for from break and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways.